Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Endless One Up. I hope you're doing well. We're going to talk about hooking up a steering wheel to your Steam Deck today, and that's what we're going to do. So let's get to it. If you're new here, think about liking, subscribing, hitting that bell icon. I really appreciate it. Helps grow the channel, and thanks a lot. All right. So now that you're in the Steam Desktop and you've updated everything, you went into the Discovery and you've updated everything there. You went into the other Steam OS and you updated everything there. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up the console. So you get out of the start menu here and just type in the word console with a K. That's K-O-N. And it'll pop right up. Just hit enter. The steering wheel pops up into like console mode. So it never sees it as a like a PC component. So it doesn't work. So you have to like run some software. It is super easy to run on Linux. And we're going to do that right now together. Okay, so... You have to set a password, which is just P-A-S-S-W-D. You don't spell out the word password. It's just kind of shortened there. And then you hit enter, and it's going to say, okay, I already have a password set up, so i got to type that in. And now I've set a password. And since you're doing this for the first time, you're just going to set your password. All right, so after you set the password, which, again, just make it something simple, the next thing you're going to want to do is run a command, which is sudo S-U-D-O space steam O-S dash read only space disable so if you see that did i make any boo-boos it looks like i did i forgot the o and only and then so yeah so the next command that you're going to run is called sudo space pacman dash capital s lowercase yu. So it's going to look like this. Pseudo space Pac-Man space whoop space dash capital S in small lower in lowercase y and u. So capital S lowercase y and u. And then you're going to hit enter. It's going to go ahead and run that package and make sure it's up to date. And then once that's done, you're going to run another pseudo packet. Pseudo pacman space dash s usb underscore mode switch. Okay. So you can see I actually screwed up the command pretty easily. So that's the thing with these. You have to type it in exactly right. So I'm not going to proceed with this installation. You're going to want to hit yes here. And then it's going to install it. And then you have to do your restart. And then you can come back into this console command area. And then type in that other command that we started out with. The cat space proc. Or let's just type it out here. So cat space uh, slash proc slash bus slash input slash devices and then hit enter and that'll tell you everything that's on your steam deck right now and here is our logitech wheel and then this is only part of it though like there's only some games that this will work for uh, you might even have to change the controller settings so it uses like a gyro i would say start out with the default controller and just see if it works I've already tried Need for Speed. Uh, some of the but button layouts were weird and I had to change things, but the shifter pedals were working. The steering wheel was working. So I just want to add one last thing. So you need to open up Steam. Once you get the whole store open, if you find a game, like say you want to play Need for Speed Heat and you click on it, you can come over to this gear icon here and then go to properties. And then in this, there's a controller setting. You want to make sure that you use the enable Steam input. This will just essentially turn on every controller option. So if you have a PlayStation or an Xbox controller, I found this helps a lot in setting up this steering wheel as well and with any other type of controller. So every game can do this, but you just have to do it in the desktop mode. If you're in the actual game, I have another video on setting up controllers when you're in the normal Steam OS and that video I can link right here. So I hope that's helpful. I'll show you some gameplay of what it looks like playing on the steering wheel. Uh, it's not super duper exciting, but at least you'll get to see it. All right, so it looks like my pedal is not working. Let's see if the steering wheel is working. So I can steer, and I'm using the gas. <laughs> so the gas for me right now is this little button right here, which is hilarious. 
So you can see, and I can turn, like I can turn the wheel here. So it's working. It's working! It's working! But it's a little weird. Like, like, woo, hitting the gas with this little thing is kind of strange. Uh, so that's how you do it. That's how you get your steering, steering wheel working. Uh, you might have to finagle with it, getting the pedals set up. You simply would just go into the control layouts and then select the gas and then push the pedal down. It'll probably give you some, like, this is button Y or something. Who knows? So thanks a lot for watching. That's how I hooked up my Logitech G920 to my Steam Deck. Again, I am using the actual Steam Dock. So I'll throw all those commands down in the description as well with like a little brief kind of what it's doing, just so you know. Um, Thanks a lot for watching. If you're new here, think about liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon. It really helps the channel grow, um, and it's free, you know, and I really appreciate it. And you can chat with me down in the chat, ask me questions. Hey, tell me I'm doing something wrong if I am. I am not a Linux pro, so, but I appreciate everybody coming around and watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.